Hi, I'm Tim McCord. I'm a licensed realtor in Ohio and Kentucky. I've been a full-time realtor for over 25 years now. One of the questions that I got over and over and over all 25 years is what is it like to be a realtor? Well, there's probably millions of people across the country right now thinking, should I consider a career in real estate? Well, I'm going to go over some of the pros, some of the cons, and the most frequently asked questions. The most common question I get is, how much money can you make? Well, I can tell you this. You, de you determine that directly. That's what's great about real estate. The average realtor in the United States, these are National Association of Realtor Statistics. Last year, the average realtor made about $35,000. Now, I know realtors in my market make over a million dollars a year, consistently every year, and I know a lot of realtors who make less than $10,000 a year, but the average makes $35,000. And like I said, the good news is you will determine that. Second question is, I get so frequently, how difficult is the test to become a realtor? Well, that really doesn't matter. Now, let me explain that. I know realtors have failed the test two and three times, and they're doing fantastic in real estate sales. And I knew realtors have passed the first time, and they haven't sold a thing. So the real estate test is not that difficult. You get a chance to take it over and over again, so don't worry about that. There's good real estate classes in every state, so don't worry about the test, but everybody does worry about it. Secondly, or thirdly, I guess, aren't there too many realtors now? Well, that's a fact. There are. There's over a million licensed realtors in the United States. One million. There's only five, about five million transactions a year. That's five deals per agent. But the good news is, most of those realtors aren't working, and most of the realtors who are, are working part-time. And then finally, should you, if you do get into real estate, should you be on a team or should you work on your own? Well, that's up to you, and the other real benefit of real estate is you can go back and forth on that question. I personally have done both ways. I like working on my own. Now, there are people who love working on teams, and you'll kind of determine that. If you're a self-starter, you can prospect on your own. You want to make all the commission, you can work on your own. If not, you want to work part-time, you might want to consider working with the team. Here's some of the pros of a career in real estate. Flexibility and work schedule. I love that one. I'm a father of four kids and a grandfather of four grandchildren, and I have never missed one practice or one game of any of my kids. So you can work around your schedule, your personal schedule. And no boss. That's a real plus. It's great to wake up in the morning, every morning, and not have a boss. Now, you'll see I have that on the con side also. You determine your income. We already talked about that a little bit. That's a real plus, though. That's uh, your job now. If you've got a job, you've got a set salary. You can get increases maybe, but maybe not. But in real estate, you always determine your own income. Real estate can be really fun, and it can. There's nothing like going out showing uh, a buyer homes all day. There's not really a rejection in it. The buyer rejects the home, but they don't reject you. So it can be fun. And you can switch companies. Now, I, I like to bring that out as a positive because so many realtors start and they get stuck with that first company they work with when there might be a better fit. There's hundreds of real estate companies in your area, dozens, I'm sure, in your area, hundreds in some of the major markets. So don't be afraid to switch companies, and you can do that. You can opt to work full-time or part-time. Now, I'll caution you, if you're going to work part-time, you're not going to make a lot of money, and I would suggest you find a team who will take you on as a part-time worker. But you do have that option, so that's certainly a, a positive. You can work with buyers, sellers, or both. Most realtors take whatever comes to them. You can, you'll find that out as you get into the business, but the preference for me has always been to work with sellers. That way I'm not working a lot of evenings and a lot of weekends. I'm getting good listings, marketing them right, and let the buyer's agent show them. And the other real advantage right now in 2017 is we are in a really hot market. Pretty much, depend, regardless where you're at in the country, the real estate market's hot right now. So it's a good time. And the negatives of a career in real estate, the public does not have a good impression of realtors as a group. It's not a reflection on me or realtors that you know, but as a group, they don't like us. And I'll show you that on the next slide. And I said on the earlier slide with the positives that you don't have a boss, and that is a positive. It's also a negative, and believe me, I've experienced that myself. You wake up in the morning, you're in a bad mood, you're depressed, you've had a bad couple days, a bad week. 
you don't have to go to work. So not having a boss can be a negative, believe me. And then there's no guaranteed salary. You know, wherever you've worked in the past, if you've had a job, you got a salary. Real estate, you make nothing until you get a sale. Then once that sale's gone, you got to generate another pending, another listing, find another buyer to, to make some more money. Talked a little bit earlier about the public does not trust realtors, and they don't. Gallup does a poll every year, and they rate these industries by high trust level. And you'll see that real estate agents are below lawyers. Now, that's the wrong place to be, below lawyers and high level of trust. But it's just a fact. Now, that's not a reflection on me, on you, if you become a realtor, or any particular realtor you know. It's not the individual, but that is what they think of us. Now, I've turned that around, and if you do work full-time and you are a professional, you can really use this to your advantage. So keep that in mind. Uh, last year, I wrote a book. It's called A Revolution in Real Estate Sales. It became a number one bestseller in three different categories. And in that book, I share the conventional, kind of the older methods of selling real estate that most trainers, brokers, and most books share. And it's been the same for all 25 years I've been in business. I share those methods in the first couple chapters. And then I share some methods that I've used over the last eight or nine years. And it really works well. So that book kind of will help you get an idea. You can get that on Amazon. It's $9.95. For the hardback, and it's $4.99 or $4.95 for an ebook. My name is Jim McCord. I happen to be with Keller Williams, but I'll be happy to field any questions that you have. Uh, not everybody is meant for every company. You should match your company with your goals and your personality. But please call me. There's my phone number, there's my email, and you can also search Jim McCord Realtor on YouTube. But real estate is a great career. It's not as easy as everybody thinks, and I'd love to help you decide whether or not to get in and who to consider working for. Give me a call. Thanks for your time.